this topic titles Threats, Defense and Information Security Development Trends. Let's look at the forwards. The previous course have introduced some of the basic concepts and knowledge about information security and common attack types. Consider this question. Okay, so what measures should we take to ensure enterprises information security? So this is the, uh, the question that we should be asking. And uh, defense against security threats not only requires professional tools, but also the awareness of everyone, including all the staff that involved in security, information security uh, construction. Okay. So let's look at the objective. Upon completing this course, we should be able to learn uh, to describe the basic elements of security uh, threats defense, to be able to describe the importance of information security awareness in security protection, and also to describe the future development trends of information security. So let's look at the contents. So we have three topics here, uh, security threats defense, information security awareness, information security development trends. So let's look at the key elements of information security protection. Um, so in terms of uh, in information security protection, uh, these are the three areas, uh, people, uh, security O&M, and management, operation min maintenance, management and security products and also the technologies that we typically uh, buy from the uh, vendor. Um, so in terms of people, people are the weakest link in information security because usually people trust an, another people and sometimes without verification of the uh, uh, another person and uh, that could actually introduce the, um, the threats into the organization. It is, it is very important to ensure that enterprise employees have high security awareness. Okay? And uh, if, for example, don't easily trust uh, when people claim that they are one of the employees of the companies, they've forgotten something and they need to get back to the office to do something. Or uh, maybe they said they are one of the uh, cleaner of the, of, the, um, of, the, of the company, of the office and uh, they, they, want, they forgot to bring their tag and you, sh and you should allow to let them to go in, etc, etc. Or maybe employees shouldn't easily just uh, you know, join to a public Wi-Fi using a company's laptop and etc, etc. Um, the second point here is the security uh, operating and maintenance. Uh, ensure security compliance during the process operation of the enterprises. Implement the in-time response defense uh, and also the improvement when the threats occurred. So this is actually, um, no, uh, I think uh, in the previous chapter uh, we spoke about the uh, ISO standards, the IEC and ISO standards. Uh, there is actually a, a whole bunch of um, ISO, the, the, the things that we can actually comply and to follow the process of the operation. And also we always speak about, we spoke about the uh, uh, in term, uh, in uh, when there's a time to to respond to the uh, the the attack, or maybe something that goes wrong, and how do we uh, overcome? How do we respond to the uh, incidents? Okay, so all this has to be in in place, you know. And the final one is the security product and the technology that we obtain. Uh, security protection technologies ensure that appropriate action can be implemented. Um, and security protection technologies have different protection methods at different techn technical layers and also the domain. Uh, in the next few topics, we will discuss some of the uh, elements, uh, like for example, uh, from the user point of view, there's a technology to be used at the user point, uh, at the, um, uh, the gateway layer, at the edge layer of the company, we have something like maybe the firewall or maybe uh, some of the uh, companies subscribe to the uh, cloud services and we also have this cloud security product as well. So all these uh, elements are actually interrelated. Alright, so let's look at the uh, in more details. Okay, so in terms of the uh, security products and technologies, uh, so let's say for example if we talk about the appliances, uh, network security appliances such as the firewall products, 
uh, IPS, IDS, the intrusion prevention system, and also the in intrusion uh, detection system, and uh, anti DDoS attack uh, denial, uh, distributed denial services uh, appliances to prevent the uh, DDoS attack. Um, system in terms of system security, uh, let's say we talk about the server in terms of server security, uh, host security on the client side, the, the laptop, the PC for the user access. You know we have um, uh, the security for that, uh, and endpoint security and same thing. This is also about the user, uh, you know, identity authentication. Uh, how do we authorize? How do we actually authenticate a, a, a person? which is part of our organization and uh, for example if somebody were to connect to our network via Wi-Fi or maybe physical cable uh, how do we authenticate uh, the, the true authentic uh, identity of a person um, application security uh, we talk about the, uh, the antivirus um, you know the anti-spam antivirus uh, product which actually to help us to protect whatever things that we downloaded or when we copy uh, vulnerability scanning um, for example uh, some of the products that actually allows us to uh, to scan the um, uh, the uh, for example like a Wi-Fi uh, so should we should we join the uh, public Wi-Fi uh, is there any uh, vulnerability or maybe for example if the uh, one of the machine which is not up to date not patch up to date so we should have the uh, vulnerability scanning uh, software to to give us a report and also uh, penetration testing is also very important uh, because we know that um, there are so many hacker tools uh, uh, in the internet where um, so so that the, the hacker probably is using some of the tools uh, to do the um, Vulner uh, vulnerability scanning and try to attack our network so that it is actually good that we also use the uh, some tools to actually perform some testing uh, after the security policy has been implemented just to detect just to detect uh, if the, uh, the security has been in place the, the right uh, uh, following the right uh, procedure um, so uh, in terms of the ONM and management um, so uh, this is a security operation uh, the day-to-day -day operation or what are the things that we should be uh, aware of um, uh, emergency response okay so just in case uh, there's a serious attack uh, in the, to the organization uh, what is the response uh, should be should be done and disaster recovery this is like you know in case uh, the entire site is uh, has been compromised um, so how do we uh, recover our uh, application or maybe the services from the uh, from the disaster recovery site example. Uh, security awareness, um, the foresting security awareness uh, in the enterprise uh, uh, employees. So again, this is, um, so every employee should um, should be aware about the uh, uh, some of the security awareness, like for example, don't easily um, expose your uh, credential, uh, for example, the uh, identity card of your employees to some other uh, unknown personnel because somebody might might use the NFC reader uh, to actually read your card and uh, somebody might just say okay uh, can you just uh, tap uh, this card uh, just to enjoy some uh, some uh, uh, some uh, discount on the uh, beverage uh, on a coffee or whatever no, and also to raise awareness about social engineering somebody try to pretend uh, like I said earlier he or she could be uh, one of the uh, a cleaner of the company and uh, they forgot to bring the tag and uh, to allow them to access and things like that